This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? I'm now standing next to a BMW iX. And you know, this is a German car, and we all know that German cars are great, and that German cars are safe, but what about baby equipment from Germany? Ta-da! This is Cybex Anoris T, the world's first baby seat with airbag. So it was tested by the German ADAC recently and it received top score. They said it's the safest child seat ever tested by ADAC. Think about this. And okay, let me show you. Um, it looked kind of tight. Oh yeah, I look at the review or the test from ADAC and one minus with it was that it kind of limits the, the, the vision here because we have this big chunk of thing here, which is the airbag see how big it is um, and then you can adjust let's see here you can adjust this one outwards actually let me just do this and then do this so as the baby grows you can extend it a little bit let me try if I hook it on here yeah it goes further out like this so you have more space uh, and then also you can uh, take this one up and I like the material it's nice and soft and uh, uh, comfortable to touch so if it's comfortable for me to touch it should also be comfortable for the baby to lay in it and then you can rotate it or well, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to you tilt it to change the angle but as far as I know it's fixed on the isofix base because this seat unlike the other uh, many uh, charges like, like, like the cloud set uh, they can rotate. This one cannot rotate. It only has this movement here. And then you probably notice that there is no handle, so you can't take out the baby seat. So it has to be stuck with the, um, the Isofix base, which could be uh, slightly cumbersome when you want to carry this around because it becomes kind of heavy to take all, all of this. And normally when I mount the Isofix base, of course I do the Isofix base first, then I put the child seat in, in the Isofix base. Uh, but now there's also a battery here, so you will see some lights here to turn green and everything. And there's some electronics in here. Uh, but you see, for, um, for in the beginning, you, know, you guys know that uh, small babies, they need to be backward facing uh, because of safety, because they have the spine and everything is not fully developed. But then roughly at the age of between four and six, according to everyone, the government and the authorities, you can then switch to forward-facing seat. But I know I heard from someone or many, many people, uh, they start turning it forward, especially if they get boys and the, the legs start getting long. They turn them forward, maybe already at the age of two and a half, three, I heard as, as low as that. So I actually think that not many people will keep the baby backwards facing until the age of six is probably just tiny percentage and then maybe four years old but this one anoris t allows you to put the baby in the forward uh, position at the age of 15 months and yeah by the way it's only forward facing so i cannot use this yet with the baby because the baby is only two weeks old so think about this already from 15 months, which is a little bit over one year, you can have it forward facing. And what are the advantages with forward facing versus backward facing? Well, one problem is that, uh, like I mentioned, um, eventually it will become kind of cramped in the backward facing. Here, uh, the legs will just be dangling here in the right direction, plenty of leg room at least. And this one is a bit uh, disadvantaged though, uh, it's kind of in the way-ish. Um, but uh, also from what I've heard, I don't have any first-hand experience yet, but um, babies, they tend to get car sick if they sit in the wrong direction. So at least if they sit in the right direction, they can see the landscape. And also if you have panorama roof like, like, like this uh, BMW, then you can also see up in the direction you're traveling. So it could reduce car sickness. Again, I don't know, I haven't tried it for sure. Uh, and also, it would be easier for the parents to see the baby. If it's backward, you usually have to put up some kind of mirror uh, so you can see the baby's face. But here, uh, as, as far as I know, I've done some research about this. And it seems to me like having the baby forward, or the, the child rather, forward facing has some advantages. But of course, the disadvantage is the, the safety. 
but then the safety is being taken care of with the electronics, with the airbag. So to me, it sounds like win-win. Or is it win-win? We'll find out, I guess, in 15 months. And then what kind of disadvantages does it have with, uh, you know, taking this heavy thing in and out in a Model 3? We'll see, but also I brought the, the BMW here. We're gonna try to mount it and see how cumbersome it is to take it in and out. And you see how I'm to the sticker from 15 months. And that's the length, but there's 76 to 115 centimeters and maximum 21 kilograms. And as always, you want to be ABCing, always be covering. I have this one from Diono. So I'll just put it here. Okay, wait, I have to open the lid. I like the lids here in the IX. And then just, uh, this is just a generic one. It's not uh, for, uh, specifically for uh, an OST. Just place it like this, roughly. All right, looks good. And then we take the whole uh, base plus seat. Oh, I see now. Uh, it, it's bigger and heavier. You have to be somewhat fit to be able to carry this in. Right, oh, and then I have to arm the hooks. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, I noticed one thing here, which is that when I do this with a regular uh, Isofix base without the seat attached, it's way easier to bend over here to arm. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this before I moved the the Anoris in here, yeah, yeah, that I could do that. Um, all right, and then we have to try to line up. I guess I'll do it on this side first. There, on this side. Okay, Missy. All right, it bl <laughs> it blinks now. This is also pretty cool. There, there, it's attached, and we have some lights here. Okay, this one is green, this one is green. Uh, which is the belt, right? Let me see if I unbuckle. Yeah, unbuckle and then it turns red and then buckle up. Okay, and then it's just missing the, the leg extension. All right, everything is green. It stays green for a little bit and then the, the light goes off. And here you see, this is the cabling that goes through the electronics inside the the uh, airbag unit here so hopefully it's strong enough uh, yeah you don't want to mess around with it too much and i'm just wondering is this going to be a problem because i prefer mounting the seat behind myself and then wifey prefers sitting there um i mean we could move it around a little bit because uh, this uh, airbag unit here kind of becomes uh, in the way or kind of tuck it away somewhere no, nah, not really. The, the cable here has somewhat limited uh, move. So, but okay, so what I need to do is I have to open it like this first and then I take the baby from the stroller somewhere and then I just put it in here. And then we need to strap everything. Uh, and then we close it. So maybe it is better if this seat is mounted on that side because then you have a more natural entrance and then this one won't be in the way. Uh, unless I find... Now actually, you see, I think the cable can take a little bit of movement that they, sh they should, right? Even it's been designed by Germans. So you can just tuck it away a little bit like this. And then I think it's not that big of a problem. And then let's say we are done with the trip. All right, and then the baby's in here. And then I just unbuckle. Try to just put it somewhere on the side. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then we take out the baby. And then in case I want to take out this, let me see how hard it is to take it out then. Then we just have to take the leg up and then um, take the Isofix hooks out. There, it beeps. Huh. Well, I guess there's no way to turn off the beep. Okay. And then our, I guess the easiest way is to take it out like this. But you see in the, uh, in the BMW iX, since this is the SUV, we have a fairly big opening here. And also the doors, they open quite a big angle, which is an advantage. So actually, the, I think I realized that the BMW iX is a very good family car. Ugh. And I can take it out here without scraping too much. I scraped a little bit towards the door or something here. I'm not sure what it was. Ooh. Yeah, so in case you're in a rush, it's raining outside, you might just do it a bit quick. Or if it's slippery outside, you might bump into some of the parts. So 
I guess that's a slight disadvantage. Maybe it would have been better if Isofix was uh, separate from the seat, but is it even possible? So there you have it, the Cybex Anoris T. And you know, you might be thinking this must be really expensive stuff. Well, it actually isn't. It costs around 8,500 nook. Uh, which is slightly more than some of the other child seats. So this was the whole idea behind Cybex when they developed this, is that safety is important and safety should be available for everyone, not just the elite. So, would you guys buy this eventually if you get a kid that is big enough? Uh, would you feel safe to put your, uh, your, your baby forward facing at the age of 15 months? Huh? Let me know what you guys think. Is this going to spark lots of controversial uh, controversy and, <laughs> and will it create lots of discussions? Is it, am I going to be, am I crazy for putting my baby in here in 15 months? Well, at least a ADAC has approved. So I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.